This is station KE2XCC at Alpine, New Jersey. Our programs this evening are in honor of the builder and owner of this station, Professor Armstrong of Columbia University, who died on February 1, 1954. For the first hour and a half, we have been playing Professor Armstrong, or Major Armstrong, as he was universally known. Now, as we begin a special half-hour program in memory of Major Armstrong, we want to tell you something about the Alpine station. The original station, W2XMN, on 43.1 megacycles, was completed in 1938 and put into regular service early in 1939, almost exactly 15 years ago. It was the product of one of the great inventions that Major Armstrong contributed to radio, the FM system of broadcasting and radio signaling. The station was built to demonstrate to a skeptical world that frequency modulation could be employed on the very high radio frequencies to give noise-free reception and the highest fidelity of musical reproduction. But that has been only one of the purposes that it has served. We have often wondered how many of the motorists passing by on either side of the Hudson River have identified this station from the great tower with its huge antenna mass that is so familiar and so striking a landmark on the Palisades. And how many of them and of our great radio audience have ever appreciated the variety or the importance of the work that has been done here. It was from this station that the demonstrations were made which led the Army and later the Navy and Marine Corps to adopt FM for mobile communications during World War II, a measure that had great military significance and saved many lives among the fighting forces. All of us know that FM has now gone into universal use in the mobile services, buses, taxi cabs, and other forms of transport and in the safety of life services such as fire and police. This station played a vital part in bringing about that result. This station and other facilities at Alpine have been used continuously, knowledge concerning radio phenomena in a variety of aspects. They were employed since early in the last war in important communication projects of the armed forces under Major Armstrong's direction. In the experiments that he conducted from the station, Major Armstrong and others, who and with him, developed new and better radio apparatus, found new ways of relaying radio signals, and developed methods for sending two or more programs simultaneously on the same radio channel, without interference by one with the other, but true binaural broadcast reception and for the extension of radio services without the use of additional channels. To us who are assembled here at the station tonight with Mrs. Armstrong and some of the Major's co-workers and old friends, it is said to close down an operation that has been of such important service to the world and has given pleasure to a wide audience of music lovers. But the occasion has a joyous aspect also in that it gives us this opportunity to tell our listeners about the achievements of the Alpine station and of the great radio pioneer and inventor who used it in his work. I have been asked by the Board of Directors of the Radio Club of America to read the following resolution addressed to Mrs. Edwin Howard Armstrong and all others to whom these presents may come. Be it known that at a meeting of the Board of Directors of the Radio Club of America held February 25, 1954 in New York City, the following resolution was unanimously adopted. Edwin Howard Armstrong a member of this board and past president, 
departed this life on February 1st, 1954. Major Armstrong took a sincere and continued interest in the affairs of this club during a membership of over 40 years, worked diligently and earnestly to carry out his, its purposes, and was ever ready to give assistance, encouragement, and inspiration to his fellow members. The members of this board are mindful of the high principles and sterling character of Major Armstrong, his kindness and generosity, the warmth of his friendship, and his untiring devotion to the radio art, as well as his brilliant, basic, and concept-changing inventions. We look with pride and honor to the meetings of our club at which Major Armstrong disclosed his inventions, a few of which are the regenerative circuit, the superheterodyne, the super regenerative system, the system for eliminating noise by frequency modulation with its concept of using wide bands for noise reduction, and recently the multiplex transmission of frequency modulated broadcast signals. His honors and awards were many and worldwide. The Radio Club of America has lost its most distinguished member. This board is mindful of the love, sympathy, and understanding of Major Armstrong's wife, Esther Marion Armstrong, who aided and encouraged him throughout their married life. Now, therefore, be it resolved that this board, on behalf of the members of the Radio Club of America, hereby express to Mrs. Armstrong and to the family of Major Armstrong their deep regret at his passing and their heartfelt sympathy. Be it further resolved that a properly engrossed parchment copy of this resolution be presented to Mrs. Edwin Howard Armstrong. Done at New York this 25th day of February, 1954. Signed, Frank H. Shepard, Jr., President, O. James Morlock, Corresponding Secretary. station KE2XCC at Alpine, New Jersey, concluding a special program in memory of Major Edwin H. Armstrong. This is the last program of our 15 years of broadcasting. To our faithful audience of music lovers, we say thanks for your attention and your letters of praise and criticism. Goodbye and good luck. As we now prepare to pull the switch and shut the station down, we salute the memory of Edwin Howard Armstrong.